So this is the time of year that we start to brainstorm what I should cake on our YouTube channels. And we decided to include you. So if any of you have great cake ideas that you'd like to see at any point of 2024, please leave a comment below. What would you say were some of the great cakes that were recommended by the audience? The first one, the most notable one is Giant Sushi because that was in my giant cake like heyday or giant food cake heyday. A lot of people requested sushi and do you remember that when I made it, it hit a million views in like a day. It was our fastest growing video. I also think strawberry, now that, uh, that was something I mentioned in a video, but then everyone kept reminding me that I mentioned it, so I finally made it and I love that cake. Most recently, it's the strawberry shortcake popsicle which looked good, was really effective. I got to try like new techniques and it was delicious, most important. January is a hard one because normally in January, I either focus on like fitness, you know, like weights and yoga mat or like avocado toast and, you know, healthy food. This year there was Mr. Potato Head. I don't know what he has to do with January. We usually make things either about New Year's resolutions or about being in winter, like oh. an igloo or like- Yeah, a, oh like yeah, the head. igloo! Guys, it's been nine years. I've caked so many things on this channel, I forget half of them. What do you think about these cookies that make them made? Which is oh, like I love the... them. And I love the thought of like that kind of curation for how to cake it too. I really do. But I'm not sure where to go with this winter theme. Okay guys, so please give me your ideas and keep in mind it needs to have body. Like a winter scarf is cool, but a winter scarf is flat or gloves are flat without hands in them. Don't you make gloves with hands in them? Okay, this is, for Halloween I'll do that. I could do like a folded knit sweater. I could save that for like next winter and make it like an ugly knitted Christmas sweater. Ridiculously good ideas, okay? The other option is always to use the colors of the season and make a cake inspired by winter, kind of like my beach cake, but make it chilly and icy, light blue and white and, you know, white sprinkles and luster, but like this cake. But some part of me feels like I've done this already and I just don't remember. Do you make like a lake cake, like a frozen lake? I could make it. Maybe could we have like a secret chamber and it could be filled with jello so it looks like it's frozen and we could put like something in there so it's under it? Well, it wouldn't be a secret chamber because you'd see it. So it would be a chamber and then we could like bury something in the ice, not a body. Orhan, I know what you were gonna say, but something. Like it would have to be like kind of like a slab and then I could cut it out like a frozen, more like a frozen pond than a lake. And speaking of slab cakes, I am enjoying this trend. I love this like resurgence of slabs, but they're so much better. They don't just look like a Costco slab. Sorry, Costco, no offense. I love these cakes that have color and lots of different piping and little decorations all around the outside. And the other thing I love is I find cakes like this are way less intimidating for people both in decorating and in transporting, that's for sure. And when it comes to cutting them, like when people see a tiered cake or a novelty cake, they never wanna cut it. I know this because I always end up having to cut it if I'm there, um, but a slab is really cool. And another thing I've seen a lot on TikTok is like giant slabs, like table length cakes. But I do really love this trend and I love that it can be kind of like rustic or piped. I just love the, you know, you always see big cakes, especially on TV. It's like big, 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 but it's always in one way. And this is just like a tabletop of cake. How would you make a slab cake if you were making it a birthday cake? Maybe it could reveal a story. I'm picturing like a flip book, but maybe it could reveal a story and like, if it was for a specific person's birthday, then it could reveal like parts of their life. I can make a slab cake for how to cake it and have nine sections. Each section could have the uh, concept, the theme of the most popular cake of that year. Oh yes, so or you... yes. And then another thing that's really popular in the winter are like hot chocolate bombs, which I think are so pretty. And I keep thinking about how to make a cake version of a hot chocolate bomb. Like maybe I can make a chocolate, a big chocolate shell, but then when you smash it, it's cake inside. 
inspired by the flavors of hot chocolate. I just don't know how it would work because with, with the hot chocolate bombs, the most satisfying part is you put it in a cup like this, you pour hot milk and then it transforms. But I don't know what to do with the cake bomb, but I love the idea of it. Do you have any ideas? Please leave it in the comments. See, like other times of year are easier, like Valentine's Day. Halloween is my favorite because I think it has the most endless possibilities. And I also want to cake another chocolate bar. I just don't know what. Okay, I'm gonna think about it. But if you guys have chocolate bar favorites, leave it below. I definitely want to make a chocolate bar that I get to pour chocolate over again because it's very satisfying. So once again, guys, thanks for listening in and we welcome your ideas. Just leave a comment below. And I want to know, guys, which one of these ideas are you most excited about or do you actually want to see me make? I think I'm most excited about the How to Cake It slab. You know what I mean? Almost like a How to Cake It yearbook, but in cake form. I also want to know if you guys enjoyed being a part of this brainstorm. Should we do more? And I have another question. What other things do you want to see made on this channel? It doesn't have to be all cake. I know it's called how to cake it, but it doesn't have to be all cake. As long as we can eat it. Thanks for listening in, everyone, and I will see you next week.